guys it's may here welcome to my channel and welcome to cooking 101 everyone for today's dish we have the salmon belly over here and i also bought uh two salmon head and i never had or i never tried cooking uh salmon belly before so today we're going to do uh, paksiw adobo na salmon belly with the salmon head. So these are my ingredients for my uh, paksiw adobo for today. Of course, we have here one large red onion, one lemon, one tablespoon of the chicken or seasoning mix. I have here four cloves of garlic chopped. And I have some soy sauce here, some vinegar, ginger, bay leaves, whole black peppercorn, and also we're going to use the Bilolova cooking oil. Um, this is a combination of canola oil, grapeseed oil, and extra virgin olive oil. But you guys can use any kind of cooking oil that you guys have available in your pantry. So okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out all of these ingredients to our beautiful wok. So this is the wok that I'm going to cook the salmon belly and the salmon head. I'm going to start with the onions. Ginger, garlic, couple of bay leaves on top at the bottom. black pepper and then we're going to put our salmon so we're going to start with a pork belly This is beautiful guys, it's very fresh. You know, when my dad was still living, salmon is one of his favorite fish. And um, the fat of the salmon, which is the belly, he really loves this. I miss my dad, you guys. I miss him very much. And then the head. Oh, I still have some belly left here. Okay, and head. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. That's our garlic. And then we also have some bay leaves. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our soy sauce. But first we have to start with the nor chicken seasoning mix. The rest of our black pepper. One fresh lemon cut in half. And again guys, you, you don't have to worry about 
the seeds it will not make the dish taste better so don't worry about it okay one do the other one oops all right last we're going to add the soy sauce we are also going to add one cup of water so one cup of water and a little bit of olive oil there and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cover it the vinegar we are going to add it after everything is cooked okay but i'll show you how to do it let's cover them and we wait okay friends after 45 minutes let's check our salmon belly and the salmon head I forgot to tell you guys that when you're cooking the salmon belly, you guys have to check it once in a while. Open the lid and make sure that the fish is not sticking at the bottom of the pan. And uh, yeah, so after 45 minutes, our pork belly is done. Same thing with the salmon head. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add our vinegar. By the way, guys, I use the spice vinegar, okay? I like using spice vinegar because it has a nice flavor, you know, with all those spices. But uh, if you guys don't have that, you can just use the regular vinegar. So once we added the vinegar, we don't have to kind of like mix them up. We just have to cover them and turn the stove off and give it for like five minutes before you guys eat the the dish so i'm going to show you guys the finished product okay friends this is our finished product this is our adobo paksiyo na salmon belly with salmon head if you guys like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet you guys please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching have a blessed day everyone wherever you are in the world and may the good lord bless us all thank you guys again for watching and see you guys on the next video